Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd show you a couple of new things I've bought recently or have been given to uh, for my birthday, which was last Friday. Um, I'm starting to think I look a little bit like a referee in this top. Ooh, red card. Scholzy. Scholzy? Scholzy? I'm sure there's a football name in there somewhere. Uh, okay, so the first is this gorgeous floral dress that's made with this um, quite silky fabric. And this was from a shop called Malaya, which they have a website and a couple of shops kind of dotted around Madrid. And it's really pretty. It's quite, well, no, it's not that long actually. Um, but it's covered with these gorgeous flowers all over it with this high neck. Uh, so I thought it'd be a really cute kind of spring summery dress to have. And it was eight euros in the sale, which I think is a bit of a bargain. Okay, so number two is a top that you already will have seen if you follow me over on Instagram. Um, where I post most of my daily outfits and things I'm up to, so if you want to come over and follow me, I'll leave my handle here. Um, but yeah, it's this lilac top from Bershka, and it's got this gorgeous cinched in waist with these big floaty sleeves, and it's really cute, whether you wear it with like um, a pair of jeans or a skirt. Uh, yeah, I really like this one, and I think it was quite uh, well priced as well. I think, I don't know why I'm <laughs> waving the arm. Ooh, do a little, um, that's not a Mexican wave, is it? Okay, so also from Bershka is this gorgeous t-shirt, which I think I put in my last video as well about the things I'm liking in spring or whatever it was called. Uh, wrapping myself, remembering my titles there. Um, but I brought this to um, go away on holiday with me and I didn't end up wearing it, but that's why it's really creased right now. But it's this gorgeous cornflower blue with yellow, black, white and tan stripes. And yeah, it's really cute. I'll try and insert a picture here if I've already worn it. But I think it's a really nice kind of throw on t-shirt for spring and summer. And I really love the kind of combination of the colors together. So I saw this jumper in Mango and even though um, it's kind of getting hot here in Madrid already, um, I say already, it's 26 degrees today. So it's already kind of too hot to wear this jumper. But I got quite a few wears out of it before it got um, too warm and it's also going to be good for kind of colder summer days but it's this really nice knit from Mango and it has these gorgeous black and white tassels all around the waist and I really really love tassels on things and I think it's really cute whether you tuck it into jeans or have it with shorts or uh, I mean you could throw this over anything really because it's still kind of it's warm but it's still quite I was going to say it's lightweight when actually it's really heavy and I don't know if that's because my arms are aching after my workout but that kind of seems quite heavy. Yeah, it's perfect to throw over jeans or anything you want really, and I really like this kind of mild, uh, speckledy bit on the front. Um, yeah, I think this was about 40 euros, which was kind of more than I'd normally pay for a jumper, but I feel like I've seen jumpers like this elsewhere for um, kind of a higher price tag, so I thought I would treat myself. Right, okay, so the next uh, earring purchase is a bit of a rogue one. I don't know if these were either really cute or kind of really hideous, but they were two euros, so I thought, you know, uh, give it a go and just see. But these massive hoops, which appear to have already given themselves a bit of a tangle, uh, but these are from Primark, and I don't know how well you can see, but you've got a gold pair here, a metallic-y pink pair in the middle, and then a kind of white, almost iridescent pair on the side. And they're these kind of hexagon shapes. And I just think they're quite fun in general. I mean, they are giving me like major 90s vibes. Like they kind of remind me of those bracelets you used to wear. But yeah, I just thought kind of with something kind of basic with big hoops, they'd be quite fun. But yeah, they were two euros, so I'll give them a go. If they're a massive disaster, um, it hasn't, you know, cut me in the purse strings too much. And that's not an expression. Okay, also from Primark. Um, are these socks, which are Harry Potter socks. And I'm a massive Harry Potter fan, but I don't know, a lot of the Harry Potter merchandise I find a bit, not cringe, but just a bit over the top. But I saw these socks and I couldn't resist. So there's four pairs, one for every house. So if I just show you one, here are the Ravenclaw ones and they have the kind of crest here and then glittery blue uh, bits at the top and the bottom and I've already worn two pairs of these don't worry they've been uh, they've been through the wash um, but they're not itchy either because sometimes I find glittery socks can kind of give you a bit of an itch but yeah they're really comfy and I thought they were really cute and for four pairs it was uh, three euros fifty which I thought you know wasn't too bad indeed 
Now, also from Primark, I feel like I heard people raving about this, so I went to go check it out and I found one. There's a, a dupe of the mini Chloe backpack. I'm not into designer fashion really at all, um, so I don't know the name of this supposed backpack this is meant to look like, until I googled it, and this is not uh, inspired by or dupe, it's literally a complete copy, but I thought it was really cute, so I kind of like it for the fact it's cute on its own rather than being a copy of uh, the Chloe bag, but it's this gorgeous little brown backpack and it was 10 euros and it feels really good quality, I mean it feels a lot more expensive than that and it has the gold hoop with the tassel sorry about my throat by the way, I seem to have some sort of lurgy which has appeared out of nowhere um, maybe it's the pollen which I can actually see outside my window floating past so it probably is the pollen girls with allergies so it's got this big roomy pocket inside and it fits you know a decent amount of stuff if you're not wanting to bring out anything too big <laughs> um, and it has these two long straps and yeah I really like it, I think it's really cute and it came in black but there was only one brown one left and one black one and the black one had um, a bit of a faulty bottom oh that sounds uh, painful doesn't it um, like the bottom part, the seam had kind of come and done and it was all a bit weird uh, and they had it in red as well um, but the red shade wasn't for me really it was kind of a strange red like it wasn't quite bright red but it wasn't dark maroon red it was somewhere in the middle um, and I don't really have any brown bags, so I decided to go for the brown. Um, but if I can ever find the black one again, I'm tempted to get the other one. Because, heaven knows, I need more bags. The last item of clothing I have to show you is this skirt from Pull and Bear. And I apologise in advance if it makes your eyes go crazy. But it's this red, white and blue stripy midi skirt with these pleats. And, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I actually wore this on my birthday. Um... Uh, we went to Amsterdam for the weekend and I wore this on the Friday, which was my birthday day, um, with a t-shirt, which I'll show you next, tucked in. And yeah, the pattern reminds me a little bit of like something somebody who belongs to a boat club would wear. Like, you know on the American office, Andy Dwyer, and he always wears that kind of, I don't know how you describe it, like that preppy, um, I'll try and find a picture, but yeah, it reminds me of that, but... Um, yeah, I really love this and it was 20 euros from Pull and Bear. And to go with that, I wore this t-shirt, uh, which is from Stradivarius again. And it says, colourful personality on it. And uh, I really love the kind of primary colours of the letters. And yeah, it was quite cheap. It was about 5 or 6 euros and it's just like a nice sort of basic throw on t-shirt. And I do love a good slogan t-shirt, as you can tell from my buy and chow referee number. Uh, okay, so the next item I got bought for my birthday, uh, Lee got this for me, and it's this really nice little green bag, and this is from Stradivarius, and it comes with this black and white silky tie on the side, and yeah, it's really gorgeous, it has this tiny clasp here, with a small pocket at the front, and then room inside for your bits and pieces, and then it has this really cute kind of mini strap, and then your shoulder strap. And I love the shade of green that's everywhere at the minute. I don't have anything like this uh, in my bag collection. I was going to say bag wardrobe then. Bag wardrobe isn't a thing. Bag collection. So yeah, I really like this. And I think this kind of small silk scarf really gives it that uh, cute humbug feel. So yeah. And then last but not least, I bought these sunglasses. And they are quite strange. They have like on the inside, like this is the side of the glasses, like this kind of pink perspex um, side part and then in the inside bit where is the bit kind of touching your face, it's this pink glittery material. I wouldn't say they're cat eye, oh you can see out my window now, um, but they have this kind of pointy-ish shape and then they're kind of square on the bottom, um, but yeah let's see what these look like on. Yeah, so these are those on, complete with flappy tag that I've not yet gotten rid of. And I've just realised I still have my sunglasses on top of my head from being out earlier. So I've just double sunglassed, um, which isn't a thing, but we can make it a thing. Um, so yeah. So yeah. 
didn't think they were really cute and they were like five euros or something and I feel like they're quite reminiscent of Key Australia and those types of brands. Um, okay so that is everything, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've bought recently and sorry again for the strange throat thing, damn you pollen! Let me know in the comments below what was your favourite item and if you've bought anything new recently let me know what it is and yeah I'd love if you popped over and checked me out on Instagram, I'll leave my handle below here again and yeah thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon, bye!